are these people? I wanted to get to this letter quickly, and here we go. All right. It's featured in Consortium News, but it's not the only place that it's published. Uh, it's actually been published in a lot of places, but I was really kind of like, oh, my goodness, uh, this is great. But, you know, look, a strongly worded letter is a strongly worded letter. But when you see some of the names that signed off on this letter at the end, you're just like, oh, all right, well, at least it's trying, you know, they're trying to do something. Um, so I was, I started reading it to, I don't remember if it was Reef or Colin, but I'm like, look, I've got to, I got to read this for sure. This is, this is, I've been struggling to find stories that aren't related to <laughs> the, the, the horse race or Israel Palestine or press freedom or, uh, you know, and censorship union stuff and labor stuff. Like it all kind of seems to fit in one of those lanes, which is where we've been, but it's, it's just, I don't know. It just feels like the same stuff repeating over and over and over again. So I read this which thing, it is. which it kind of is, okay. you know, but that's, that's history, I guess. History repeats itself. But um, yeah. the other day I see this pr published in Consortium News, 113 journalists, seven press freedom groups, and 20 news outlets accused the U.S. Secretary of State of being complicit in one of the gravest affronts to press freedom today in Gaza. Again, not a surprise to anybody watching here. Um, but it, it was delivered Thursday morning, and the only thing that I said was I wish that we had had the opportunity to sign off on this too, because I think it was yeah. really solid. So, dear Secretary Blinken... Since October 7th, 2023, Israel has killed more than 160 Palestinian journalists. This is the largest number of journalists killed in any war. And this isn't even a war, it's an assault. While Israel's indiscriminate bombing of the densely populated Gaza means no civilians are safe, Israel has also been repeatedly documented deliberately targeting journalists. And we've covered that several times here on How Do We Miss That? Israel's military actions are not possible without U.S. weapons, U.S. US military aid, and U.S. diplomatic support. By providing the weapons being used to deliberately kill journalists, you are complicit in one of the gravest affronts to press freedom today. On World Press Freedom Day this year, you called on, quote, every nation to do more to protect journalists, unquote. And, reiter and reiterated your, quote, unwavering support for free and independent media around the world, unquote. And that would be really nice yeah. if that were the truth. As journalists, publications, and press freedom groups in solidarity with the courageous Palestinian journalists of Gaza, we call on you to do more to protect journalists and show unwavering support for free and independent media by supporting an arms embargo against Israel. Uh -huh. Israel has gone to great lengths to suppress media coverage of its war in Gaza, imposing military censorship on both its own journalists and international reporters operating in the country, and with Egypt's help, blocking all foreign journalists from Gaza. Israel shut down Al Jazeera, raided its office, seized its equipment, and blocked its broadcasts and website within Israel. The world relies only on the Palestinian journalists in Gaza to report the truth about the war and Israel's widespread violations of international law. Mm -hmm. Israel's deliberate targeting of these journalists seems intended to impose a near blackout on coverage of its assault on Gaza. Investigations by United Nations bodies, NGOs, and media organizations have all found instances of deliberate targeting of journalists. In a joint statement, five UN special rapporteurs declared, quote, we have received disturbing reports that despite being clearly identifiable in jackets and helmets marked press or traveling in well-marked press vehicles, journalists have come under attack, which would seem to indicate that the killings, injury, and detention are a deliberate strategy 
by Israeli forces to obstruct the media and silence critical reporting. I don't think that's a surprise to many people listening to this. Israel nope. has Israel has also killed journalists during the war outside of Gaza, such as that on October 13th, 2023, when an Israeli tank fired across the Lebanese border at clearly identified press, killing a Reuters reporter and injuring six other journalists. Under international law, the intentional targeting of journalists is a war crime. While all governments are bound by international law protecting reporters, U.S. domestic law also prohibits the State Department from providing assistance to units of foreign security forces credibly accused of gross violations of human rights. Israel's, uh -huh. Yeah, how about that? Israel's well-documented pattern of extrajudicial executions of journalists is a gross violation of human rights let alone the documented rape and torture of their own Palestinian prisoners. But that's a whole other story. That's me adding that flair. Additionally, the First Amendment of the United States Constitution protects the American people's right to receive information and ideas. Israel's deliberate targeting of journalists follows a long-standing pattern by the Israeli government suppress truthful reporting on its treatment of Palestinians and its war in Gaza, and by providing Israel with the weapons to use to kill such journalists, the State Department is abetting Israel's violent suppression of journalism. The U.S. is providing the weapons Israel continually uses to target Palestinian journalists in Gaza. This is a violation of international law and U.S. domestic law. We urge you to immediately cease the transfer of all weapons to Israel. Signed, 113 new journalists, 20 news outlets, and seven press freedom organizations, and their names are below. And oh, I, I think none of these would really come as a surprise to many of us here. You see names like Abby Martin, yeah. Adam Johnson, Alex Press from Jacobin, all right, um, Ben Bergen, a, a lot of Jacobin people, Bronco, Martichic, but you've got Kathy from Consortium News and Chip Gibbons, who's a great Assange defender, Chris Hedges. All right, I noticed Dave DeCamp from Anti-War and Dave Reed from Mondo Weiss. Dave Lindorf is on there. All right, Eleanor Goldfield, who we who, who we know and, and, you know, friend of the show. Um Again, a lot of the, you know, there's uh, Jeffrey St. Clair from Counterpunch, Joe Loria from Consortium News, another, again, honoree Consortium News. All right. So all in all, Gastola signed off on this. So not only did he, you know, write the piece we wrote earlier, he also signed off on this letter. And there's there's more Matt Matt Kennard. We, we know and love Matt Kennard. And... um there was someone, Marjorie Cohn from Truth Out, as well as Sharon Zhang from Truth Out. She's on there. Michael Aria from, from Mondo Weiss and Philip Weiss. You know, so so many excellent journalists. Um, again, I only wish we had had the opportunity to sign off on it. I think more people would have. I think Eleanor got the opportunity through Project Censored. And so these people were that are connected with these organizations or know People from these organizations basically got the opportunity to sign off on it. I noticed Ryan Grimm got the opportunity in there. and Not too much of a surprise. Somebody asked him and he said, yeah, sure, I'll put my name on that. Um, the Real News Network, too. Other news. I, mean, I, think, I think more importantly, it's going to be the journalist who can't be on there because they are no longer with us. Yeah. You know, the Abu Akhles, the Ishmael al Ghuls, the... Rafat, you know, Rafat Alariers, Palestinian journals, Rafat Alarir, yeah, absolutely. Where they targeted his whole family as well, which is uh, ter awful, you yeah. know. Kath but, Kathy Lloyd says there was another yeah. a, a girl, a woman was shot in the back today. Again, she's still alive right now. Oh, it's it's just you know we we need to talk about the reporters, the brave reporters that are actually out there doing this and. Um, trying to inform the world, but, you know, we've, 
couple of organizations have said they're going to stop reporting because it's not really helping. And, you know, other than just showing people, but nothing's really changing, um, that they're just going to shut it down to, for their own safety. And, you know, it's, that's super sad. And I totally understand. Um, Which is awful. Yep. You know, I would tell those people, we still need you. Those of us who actually need that information, but you know, mm -hmm. I understand why. I, I understand too. So, um, talking about topics like this is reflex to say on Wednesday night on during INN news is why this channel is suppressed like crazy. Uh, when people try to search for it on, and they're not already subscribed on YouTube even if they search Indie News Network, they just don't see it. It's buried below a bunch of Indian news and other stuff. It's really weird. But um, there are ways to support the network here. You can subscribe on Cash App. You can subscribe on Patreon. We've also got Rumble. Um, Rockfin is still down for INN. But yes, Sean the Accord Lord, that's you, dude. You you are like one of the, one of the best. We we adore you. You know you're you're a champ around here, as is Animeers and others. But you, you know, the support that you provide and, and, you know, you actually like, you know, hook up our network regularly so that we can keep doing this. And we really appreciate it. And we wish you had a hundred Sean Millers, seriously, uh, or a thousand would be even better, but even just a hundred would make a massive difference. And we'd be able to, to do even more. I'm sure support independent media because we do need it more than ever. I, I keep saying it every week and I really appreciate the people that do. And if you can't, you know, actually donate, share, and and get more people listening to this because we're all put in a in a bubble and it's so hard to break out of. So anybody you can tell about it, your neighbor, the person at the coffee shop, anyone, man, support independent media and help us grow. Thanks, everyone. Night. Keep listening to what little boats have to tell you. Good night, fam. See you in a bit. Oh, baby. Mwah. Ciao, baby. No! We just fucking lost the stream!